exercise less clear, we can do that as a final touch on the day. Thank you. It's funny because I think this is the first time I've ever been on camera, but yes. Well, I'm always behind the camera. Why do we have two first ADs on Moss's legs? Because most, uh, half of your work is prepping an episode and the other half is shooting. So what does it mean to be a first AD? Uh, the primary function is the, uh, the first AD is to uh, break down the script into shootable components and build a shooting schedule off of that. I also take every meeting with the director and log all the details of everything that goes inside your television screen frame or your movie frame. So every prop that's talked about, every special effects element, uh, stunt elements, how we're going to create everything that the viewer sees. It's my job to track all that stuff and put it into the schedule. So really it's just finding that balance of what's the best way to schedule the show so that everybody can have their time and their best efforts to, to be basically storytellers. Can you give us a little bit of a job description? Essentially the foreman of the job. Basically my responsibility to make sure everything gets done on time and that everyone are treated very well. The biggest part of it is to run the floor for the director. So it's this really tight relationship between myself, the director, and the director of photography. So I run the floor for the director, I communicate to the crew where cameras are going, what the next scene's going to be, that myself and the team do that together. On our show we have six people, um, which is the first AD, the second AD, uh, the third AD is part of the team, and then we've got trainee assistant directors. And it's just all one big communication ball. What's the difference between a second AD and a first AD? Uh, the first AD is kind of the director's right hand man. Mm -hmm. The second AD's main job is doing the call sheet, which is just organizing like, the logistics of filming and just so people know what time they're coming in at, the cast, the actors, and what kind of special equipment they're going to use that. Mm -hmm. And then, for example, if there's ever a chicken on set, there's a little chicken drawing next to the scene um, so that we know that we're going to be working with an animal that day and stuff like that, which is very obviously helpful. Are we in a shot right now? No. Are we in a shot right now? Let's move down that way. Yeah. <laughs> That's super funny. <laughs> Everything that's happening right now is what not to do as a first AD. <laughs> standing on the set and interrupting the shooting process. <laughs> it's really weird, it's a family show in more ways than one. It's about a family, but it has sort of turned into a family. You know what I mean? And that's sort of quite cool. And it's, it's unusual to strike an ensemble, especially an ensemble of 10, that it really isn't a glitch. You know? Except for Ignacio. Except for Ignacio. <laughs> no, no, keep going. I keep the, I was listening. So standing underneath the Skogafoss waterfall would be my most memorable uh, moment on this show. Uh, we needed um, dark skies to complete the sequence, and Iceland was having their sunniest day on record for the last century. So racing, the sun coming around the corner, created three rainbows that were now shifting into the field of view, our very narrow field of view, in order to shoot this scene. So we were running out of time. And so you guys got new spacesuits, and we were ready to shoot. And one of the very first things that happened is we couldn't hear anything because of the thunderous sound of the waterfall. So here we are, standing underneath the waterfall with three rainbows coming at us, screwing up everything, and having <laughs> about two hours to shoot 11 pages of dialogue. And right before we roll, you can't hear Molly, Molly can't hear you, but I can hear you, and I can hear Molly. Mm -hmm. So, a memorable moment for me was coming up with the idea in the moment while we were rolling <laughs> to lay down on the ground and give you guys your dialogue cues of when to speak by squeezing your legs. <laughs> so I would have to say lying on the ground in a waterfall trench in Iceland on the brightest, sunniest, hot day with three rainbows uh, approaching and um, giving you your cues that way it was probably one of the most memorable best. moments that I've had in my career and definitely I lost the case. <laughs> and Molly and I were trying to be serious and we were, we were like crying and very dark and we see Warren in like a yellow raincoat just yeah. lying like this Soaked. on the ground yeah. just going, go, go, go. 
Yeah, it was uh, yeah. it was great. It was the best. But that's the, but that's exactly that that story is uh, eliminates just how this job is about solving problems, and that's what ADs do is they're just creatively solving problems as you go, because no matter how much hard you plan and how much you plan, things are going to change, mm -hmm. and then it's the ability to solve those problems with a wonderful group of professionals so that we can keep shooting. Mm -hmm.